Hey everyone, so something a bit different, more of a talking head vlog. Um, weather's been horrible outside, so I thought I'd try out my uh, GoPro shorty stick. Um, hopefully it'll help with the videos in the garage when I'm trying to, instead of trying to rely on my ladder to give me the right um, angle, this will help um, adjust those angles a bit better. So anyway, as you'll probably know by now, uh, Matt Levitich, the CEO of Harley Davidson, has sat down, and the new CEO is Jochen Zeitz. Now he has a strong background in uh, rebranding a, a lot of um, a lot of major um, labels. Uh, Puma is one that comes to mind, and I think Colgate was another. So from what I can gather from these, all, all the media statements so far, is that they're looking to secure uh, Harley's core um, customers, and uh, the, I suppose that's. Um, talking more about the brand law customs and sticking with the range that they're good at, which is virtually your bagger slash cruiser market, which leaves a bit of a hole for the uh, new range, like the Bronx and the Livewire, and also their off-road uh, bike that was meant to be coming up, which was the Pan America. So from what I've read so far, they're talking about uh, consolidating their brands and sticking with uh, what Harley buys uh, trying to give them better value and sticking with um, models that Harley, prospective Harley buyers would like and we're actually sticking to Harley's ideology for the last 60 years. Now we've seen before with brands like MV Augusta they've um, they've purchased other brands and tried to um, tried to integrate them uh, in Harley stores hoping it would bring in a, a wider range of customer and this has been done multiple times I've covered this off on other videos what I want to talk about today is actually the brands, these new lines that uh, don't fit in Harley's um, branding at all. The, the Pan America, the Bronx, they're not typical Harley brands. Spending all this money on research and development uh, highlights an issue that hopefully that money isn't lost. And by adding these models, Harley could potentially dilute their brand and the name uh, has been covered off on other videos. Harley's more your Gen X like myself or baby boomers and, and they're trying to attract a younger, younger crowd. So you, your newer generations generally want a more quirky brand, a quirky brand of motorcycle or, or not nothing that's viewed as mainstream or more importantly is liked by my generation, Gen X or baby boomers. So we really need a brand that's not Harley, that produces quirky motorcycles. Now, what could that be? Like in the title, you guessed it. I'm not sure why they're not utilizing the Buell name. So I know Harley Davidson shut Buell down back in 2009, and it was quite sudden and quite abrupt, pretty much like what Polaris did to Victory. But Buell, but from what I can see, Harley still owns the Buell name. Now, Buell's focus was on racing, but they were producing Harley motors in different frames other than Harley. So they're not going too far away from their brand. And to me, it, it seems like a good option. They could re-release the Pan America, release them as Buell motorcycles. It's a shame that if this, if this change had happened before they were released the Harley Livewire, they could have relaunched Buell as the Buell Livewire. The Harley Livewire would have been more suitable being sold as a Buell Livewire, and that could have relaunched the brand perfectly. You know, it's modern, it's moving forward. Then they could have released Buell, the Pan America under Buell, the Bronx under Buell, and all these other, all these other motorcycles that don't fit the Harley Davidson. So even though Harley Davidson has been developing these different motorcycles other than their, what we're used to from Harley, which is basically cruisers, the opportunity is there for them to move them across to the, uh, the re-release the Buell line and actually have them released as Buells. Now, at the end of the day, Harley, from my, understand, from my understanding, Harley still owns Buell. There's a Buell website that's still there and could be quite easily um, updated and generate interest. It's, Buell was always a quirky brand and... You know, these Harleys, at the end of the day, they are quite quirky. Um, they're not a typical Harley. And being sold as Buells, at the end of the day, if that's what gets people into the showroom, because they're not buying a Harley, they're buying a Buell, then so be it. It's also keeping the, um, the Harley's perceived core customers. Um, you're not diluting the brand by bringing out other motorcycles. They've spent the last how many decades producing cruiser style motorcycles now with the harley live wire i'd still i'd still rename it as a buell down the track and hopefully 
they, by the look of it, they've got all these future designs coming up, so why not release them as a Buell? Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and if you own a Buell, what brand? My favourite was the XB9R or the XB12R, the Firebolt. I love the look of that bike, and it's in my top five of bikes that I would like to own one day that are actually still affordable. Anyway, on that note, thanks very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this video interesting, and I'll see you on the next vid.